You know what's the pleasant surprise of the uh, the current season? <sighs> what for me? What the penguin? Oh yeah, you're you're doing. Yeah, that right I went I went into that solely because I was interested in Colin Farrell. Yeah, of course. I am not at all intrigued by what's been going on with you know the superhero stuff. But remember when we saw the first Joker, and we said yes, please stick to this kind of storytelling. Mm -hmm. They're doing it. Matt Reeves is doing it with Penguin, and it's there's a reason for it. Because also one of the contributing factors is the fact that Colin Farrell doesn't just star, he's exec producing. Mm. And it just, it's a really well done, grounded crime drama with some pretty stellar performances. I'm, I've been pretty happily surprised. Well, it is, eight, once again, it is HBO. HBO. Yeah, it, HBO does good stuff. HBO man. hardly ever has something that's just trash. Yeah. Like they don't, like they might have stuff that's way better than other things, obviously, but like they... They have a good track record of having content that is normally at the bar. Right, is very like the floor is high for correct. Stuff yeah, and all, all every all stupid babies that are watching it are loving it. I had one stupid baby say, "Wouldn't have watched it unless you recommended it," and I'm loving it. It's just I, it, we're enjoying it a lot. Oh wow. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid tracks of Corbin. I'm Colin Farrell. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to every sports on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, the like button. You should do a watch along on your channel. I should. I was also wondering if I should react to... It's a lot to, of editing. It is a lot of editing. So is uh, uh, doing, like, reactions to trailers. Yeah. Yeah, but the the big one is the watch alongs. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> unless I unless I figured out a way to do a watch along live. Uh, you still... Because you can't put the audio no, in. No, you can't put the audio in. Because they'll, they'll block you. Yeah. And they'll take it down. I might try to figure something like that yeah, out. Yeah, Maybe no, if no. I forget someone like Micah who wants to do the editing. There, it's not, I'm there, just, there, I'm not it, good there, at it. There is a way uh, you can do it live, but you need to have headphones. And so what you need to be, what you need to do is start a live. Right. And make sure the audio is only in your ears. Right. Or at least the, the, this audio. Right. And everybody else is going to have to have um, it pulled open on their own tab. And start at the same time. Yeah, so you have to do one, two, two three, three, go. Like yeah. we do when we do Zooms. Yeah. Got it. So that's that's a way to do it. You just make sure that the audio is not in, not in it at all. Yeah. <laughs> or it will get or blocked. Or it will get blocked. But that's probably the easiest way. Yeah. Have I done the intro? Yep. We did, and I hey, said I was Colin Farrell. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. All right. Um, welcome back. Hey! Shitlets. Hi, yet. That would be terrible gum. Shitlets. <laughs> yeah, not great. Today, uh, this uh, dropped a few days ago. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, but this is the Citadel Honey Bunny uh, trailer. Oh. Came out a few days ago. Sorry about that. Interesting. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Let's see. I'm being redirected. Let's see if I get a, a slot. So this is Citadel Honey. Yeah. Um. Once you select one of these available. Okay. Please take your time. I got it. I think I got it. Audition date. You've been assigned. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Got it. Cool. So I can do a video submission for Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross on Broadway. Rock and roll. Let's do it. Uh, let's just get this. You know what this is. This yeah. is Citadel with the Raj, Citadel Raj and DK. Honey Bunny. Kind of thing. Yes. एक से बढ़कर एक सवाल ये है क्या वो खतरा आपको खत्म करेगा या आप खतरे को Honey, are Batman coming? Yes, but you are brave and fearless, and I am my mother. और आप मुझे कुछ नहीं होने दोगी. Listen to the song and don't come out. Nice. Nadia, can I tell you a secret? मैं एक एजेंट थी. एजेंट? Like James Bond? Action. Surprise, look at the girl. That's Samantha, <laughs> right? I'm going to mix it up. How was it? It was the best time in India. What is the job? What is the job? Acting, yeah. Oh. They can no camera. You want me to sleep with someone? Chee. I'm a spy agency. Rose is a new jungle. We fight, so there is peace. Come on. Tell 
तुम ये एजेंसी में कैसे आए बाबा इमेजिन सिस्टम जो दुनिया में किसी को भी ट्रैक कर सकता है दुनिया को अपनी मुट्ठी में करना बाप रे बाप ये अगर गलत हाथों में आ गया तो तुम्हें ना अपनी फैमिली को ऐसा कभी बनाना ही नहीं चाहिए था You can take it for granted, but whenever you see a trailer that has that much syncopated sound effects, gunshots, and edits, but particularly the sound that matches the music, mm -hmm. that stuff is really that is so up to the editor because they're taking stuff that was shot on the day that was never made with the intention that it was going to match the rhythm of a trailer. They just took the actual footage of the film and they match it to the music, and that was all over the place in that trailer. Yeah. Well put together, trailer. yeah. Well put together. Yeah. Um, did did you, uh, any did it feel like it had any similarities outside of the uh, spies to the uh, Citadel here or no? No, I mean it. It had it had the same. I mean, there's spy and there's espionage. This looks like it's got a little more humor, which does make sense when you see who's the creative force behind it. And my hope is that they've got. Pretty much that the Russo brothers gave them full creative control. Yeah. Yeah, and let them just go with it the way they want to go with it. Um, I wonder if they only... So what looked similar was the action. Yeah. It's spy stuff. Um, you got a guy and a girl. Um, but it's it doesn't look exactly the same. Mm. That, that the, the, the Citadel here with Tucci and Priyanka th feels more Mission Impossible-y, mm. where this feels a little bit grittier yeah yeah um i thought it looked good um i i think it my my fear is that it would just be generic that's my fear um but the action looked hollywood level oh yeah um so like clearly prime has given them full control because yeah, we mean, have and given them a full hollywood budget yeah well you got the russo brothers so yeah so write a check you got you got yeah a good of a budget which is great yep, yep. um All the acting looks great. I mean, Samantha Ruth, Bravo, Varun. And yeah, then, we know um, what you're getting with those two. And KK, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm definitely intrigued enough, but yeah. I have some, I have concerns. I wonder if it would be too generic. Yeah, that's my concern. We've seen this a billion times. Uh, right. This, this spy storyline, right? Right. Maybe not in India, but even though in India you kind of have a little bit. I mean, not full on spy, but kind of this kind of action. I mean, yeah. Um, Raj DK has have done that's know, quite the, a few series. Yeah. That's the thing that makes me if they did they if they're writing it, not just collaborating with the Russo brothers uh, as as exec producers. They are, but are, are the episodes written by them? Because if they did the writing on the episodes, I, I'm deeply encouraged. Let's see. Directed by Rajan DK. That's encouraging written, right there. Written by Raj DK and Sitar okay. R. Menon. That's fine. So they've got full creative yeah. control. Looks that's, like it. That's encouraging. It's, a, it's produced by the Raj DK and the Russo brothers. The Russo brothers are like, we only let partnering directors direct our things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, but I mean, the cast is there, so that's great. Um And that's the thing that I think a little save it from being generic because if there's anything that Raj and DK are not, yeah, they're generic. not generic. Yeah. So my suspicion is it's going to take 
the generic sense of the, you know, the MI kind of franchise thing. And that's going to put their own kind of twist on it with a little bit of warped humor, humor as part of it as well. So the fact that it's Raj and DK is the big draw for me. That is uh, the draw for me. And there are dosts. They are dosts. By the way. If you haven't seen that, there's a interview we've done of them. And, and with uh, them. And with them. Um, Not just of them. It, and if you haven't watched their shows, Weirdos. please do. Weirdos. Please do. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about it, if you're excited for it, and anything else we need to know down below. Just... <laughs>